Have you ever thought about doing burpees for your brain? Or mountain climbers for your mind? Our brains are organs, not muscles, and, and we can't flex them or use them to perform the perfect push-up. However, it's still a great idea to treat your brain like a muscle. Flex it, stretch it, get it moving, or you may find that it doesn't work as well as it used to. Number one, get some exercises. Turns out you really can do burpees for your brain and mountain climbers for your mind. While these exercises may not have a direct impact on your brain like they do on your gluts, exercise in general has a huge positive effect. An exercise can reduce the effects of cognitive decline as you age by about 60%. Furthermore, research has found that exercise helps the brain produce new brain cells and stimulate this production. On top of that, exercise helps stimulate the production of endorphins. These feel-good chemicals can help you combat a number of things including depression and even, and even alleviate physical pain. For some people, proper exercise is as effective as medication for easing their symptoms. Though the effects may be secondary, a positive physical and mental state helps keep your brain healthy and strong. Number 2. Learn a language. Do you really want to put your brain to work? Try learning a new language. The cognitive benefits of learning another language are undeniable. This activity comes with a list including improved memory, better critical thinking skills, better listening skills, improved focus and concentration, improved ability to multitask, being more creative and flexible. Aside from all that, it has been shown that bilingual people who also have risk factors for Alzheimer's tend to develop the disease later than their monolingual counterparts. The effect is so profound that researchers are looking into bilingualism as a strategy to delay the onset of Alzheimer's even though there is no known cure. Furthermore, learning a new language opens up your world and allows you to experience things you never could before. When you travel to the country where they speak your target language, you can engage in the culture and understand more than you ever could as a monolingual tourist. People love that you took an interest in their culture enough to learn their language. You will get a fascinating look below the surface and develop a deeper understanding of the world through someone else's eyes. Number 3. Learn a new skill. Learning a whole new language is a pretty ambitious undertaking. For most people, it will require years of hard work to truly master their target language. However, learning any new skill is beneficial for your brain. You don't have to become a full-time linguist to reap some of the brain-boosting benefits. But you should choose activities that appeal to you the most. This gives you the best chance of sticking with your new skill. Researchers in a study found that participants who engage in cognitively demanding tasks like learning a new skill showed improved memory when compared to participants who, who did something fun, but not challenging like watching TV. The beauty of this brain exercise is that it never ends. Once you master one skill, you can move on to another. You will continue to add to your skills and reaching your life experiences as well as becoming a more accomplished human being. Number 4. Teach someone else a new skill. What should you do with all these skills that you are learning? How about passing them on? Teaching someone else about new things that you are learning is delightful to spend your time. Plus, you will be stretching your brain and practicing the skill as you teach it. Teaching a skill requires a more intimate understanding of it than simply getting by. This forces you to dig deep and really understand the concept. Plus, you will be reviewing basics and solidifying your own knowledge of the subject. Furthermore, if your student is having difficulty grasping the concept, you will get an even more comprehensive brain work. This will require you to be more creative and discover a different way to explain or demonstrate the concept until the other person succeeds in grasping it. The brain is a complex and fascinating organ. There's still so much we don't understand about how it works. The mind is even more of an enigma. Perhaps the design is simply too sophisticated for us to truly understand it. However, we do know that certain lifestyle factors such as nutrition, exercise, and the willingness to be lifelong students have a big impact on the health of this crucial part of our bodies. Thank you for watching.